Hello Sagittarius. Welcome to a you and them love reading. We're going to be looking at what's going on in your connection. How do you feel about each other? And where is all of this headed? So as always, this is a general love reading, so it will not resonate with every Sagittarius watching. Uh, and this reading will be for those of you who are already in some sort of a connection or have someone in mind. All right, let's jump in. Spirits, angels, guides, messages for Sagittarius. What is going on for Sagittarius spirit when it comes to love? Pure seduction, lust, temptation, desire. You're being tempted to give in to your desires. Could be a lot of chemistry, physical connections here. Uh, lust. Someone could be desiring you. Burdened heart, obligations, burdens, difficulty. Burdens weigh heavy on the heart. So there's an attraction here, but also a burden. Um, hmm. Maybe this is someone that is keeping what they feel to themselves, or perhaps. Perhaps also I'm seeing a connection that's very, you know, there's chemistry, there's um, intimacy, but also there's baggage. So let's see what this means. I'm going to look at the tarot. I have one deck for you, one deck for your person. I'm going to have you on this side, Sagittarius, and your person on the other, but it can be vice versa, so you feel free to flip it. All right, Spirit, tell me more about Sagittarius. Tell me more about Sagittarius. What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this person or this connection? What are they thinking or feeling when it comes to this connection? We got the King of Swords. Page of Pentacles reverse. Ooh, Six of Cups reverse. Interesting. The King of Swords, um, they're they can be a little emotionless, <laughs> very direct. Um, they are honest and intellectual, smart, logical. I feel like this is possibly the way that you are approaching communication with this person or the way they are approaching communication with you hard to read kind of energy um Aquarius Libra uh, Gemini energy there with the page of pentacles reversed now with these two together I feel like the communication is there or there's a certain knowledge there of something but there's no actual offer being extended or no actual commitment starting maybe this was an offer from the past that got taken back we'll see when i clarify let me get your energies here a little bit more tell me more about sagittarius now the six of cups is here reverse so this i feel you know is, to me is a card about being stuck in the past um could also be a card about returning to the past Let's see, what is the energy of Sagittarius right, in this connection? Tell me more about Sagittarius. Dolphin. Aw. Dolphin's such a beautiful energy. Um, let me look at that real quick. Every time I put down the dolphin, I'm like, oh, uh, so very intelligent, um, healing, sensitive. They 
they change the course of your life you know they they're very they, they they're uh, they make an impact on someone's life so this could be um, you you've probably changed because of this person or have changed this person um, this card can also mean that a profound blessing is on the way so hmm let's see let's get your person Tell me about the person that Sagittarius is dealing with. So, tell me about this person that Sagittarius is dealing with. What are their energies towards Sagittarius or this connection? What are their energies? Ten of Wands, there's that burden, burden heart. So I feel like this is coming from your person's side. Some sort of burden, obligation, Ace of Pentacles, reverse. There could have been a broken commitment between you or this person had to um, take something back. Temperance, there you are, Sagittarius. Coming into your own reading. Something being slowly or brought back to balance, time, patience, need, um, moderation. This is somebody that is trying to make something work. Tell me more about this person. Tell me more about this person's energy. Maybe there's somebody here being patient, waiting for something. Tell me about this person's energy. Zebra, interesting. Very unique personality, the zebra. They usually open your mind to new things. They're travelers. I feel like you, you have changed this person. Um, it's like, you see the colors of the dolphin here? see the colors and then they're like in the zebra here like like you've implanted yourself or made an impact on them you've taught them something so let's see let's get down to the nitty-gritty here let's clarify tell me more for Sagittarius please Spirit. Let me clarify these energies please for Sagittarius. Now remember it can be vice versa or flipped, so feel free to flip it if it resonates for you. Why is the King of Swords here? Why is the King of Swords here? Ten of Swords, okay. Why is the King of Swords here? Hmm. Devil reverse. So I feel like you cut something out of your life. You you cut something out here. Some sort of cycle ended. Capricorn energy with the devil. Tell me more about this King of Swords. This was deliberate. Yeah, I feel like you stopped fighting something here. Um, maybe you were fighting for something to work and then you kind of gave up. Uh, maybe this was, maybe they, it wore you down. Um, a difficult ending here. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles reverse. Why is the Page of Pentacles reverse? Eight of Okay, so that's why. So someone was not able to put in as much effort or give as much energy. Uh, something wasn't working here with the Eight of Pentacles reverse. And that's why this really didn't take off anywhere solid or there wasn't anything solid here. Tell me more about the Page of Pentacles reverse. The Sun reverse. There could have been things that were hidden. Um, there could have been uh, just, you know, something that just we weren't happy or satisfied. There's the lovers. 
So, you know, again, it's almost like um, maybe there was um, a partnership here where you mirrored each other or where maybe this person, um, they chose you emotionally, but they couldn't give more than that. Three of Cups at the bottom of the, death, the deck with the Knight of Cups. So this is somebody that could, they could be wanting to apologize to have some sort of reunion with you here. Because I feel like there was something here that didn't work in a connection. I feel like this is, I don't know. The Lovers is about a choice. A choice between what your mind is telling you and what your heart is telling you. I feel like someone made a choice about this connection because they weren't getting what they thought they were going to get. Or, you know, maybe there were promises made here that someone couldn't deliver on, couldn't make something happen. Tell me about the Six of Cups reverse. Why is the Six of Cups reverse? King of Wands reverse. Okay. Why is the Six of Cups reverse? Four of Pentacles, reverse. The star reverse, Aquarius energy. <clears throat> so basically what I'm seeing here is someone that has lost faith, lost hope, Something feels hopeless. A lot of healing is needed here with the star reversed. And I think that's the goal because I have the six of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. So it's almost like they want to kind of make things right here. Um, but then I have the king of wands reversed. So I feel like this is someone that might have made a mistake or had some sort of... Um, maybe they jumped into something without looking. Maybe they are... A bit of um, you know maybe they have a hot temper um, say things that they don't mean or you know just are off balance here Aries Leo Sagittarius energy there I feel like someone here in the past they've done something that now is affecting the present now, I don't know what this four of Pentacles reverses about this could be a card about letting something go or holding tightly to something. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? Like stubbornly holding on to something. Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? Oh, Page of Swords reverse. Okay. Can I get one more? Why is the Four of Pentacles reverse? Page of Wands. Interesting. I feel like someone's, um, they don't know what to, oh man. Again, I feel like this is someone that, um, with the page of wands, there's excitement. There is wanting to jump in. There's wanting to, you know, start a new journey, um, communicate passionately, be creative, right? But the page of swords rivers tell me that there's something off about that. Like they're not being completely open about something. Or perhaps, I don't know, it's it's almost like um, they're not being honest about how to get something done or how to get something started. Bottom of the deck, I have Queen of Pentacles, Reverse, Three of Wands, Reverse, Three of Pentacles, Reverse. So I, I, again, I, I feel like um, this is someone that can't give you something. I'm not sure why. Maybe there's an interference here with the Three of uh, Pentacles reverse. I feel like this is someone that cannot give you something solid. Um, maybe they're prevented from doing so because they have obligations or there's baggage here due to the past and it's kind of getting in the way. Yeah, Seven of, Pen of Swords reverse. There's something off here. There's deception here, possibly. Someone here could not be, you know, maybe they're not being honest with you about something. Now, with the King of Swords, um, if you're in this energy, you'll be able to smell this from a mile away and, like, recognize it. So, let's see. Let's go see what's going on with your person. Okay. 
Help me clarify. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Why is the Ten of Wands here? Hangman Reverse. Why is the Ten of Wands here? Five of Wands Reverse. So they don't want to fight anymore. They want to reconcile or fix something here with the Five of Wands Reverse. You know, the fighting is over, but with the Hangman Reverse, I don't feel like they're ready to actually do what needs to be done. Seven of Coin. So there's doubts here, worries, and there's the Two of Swords at the bottom. So this person's undecided. There's Seven of Swords Reverse right behind that. Once again, they're undecided um, or prevented from making a decision or unable to make a decision. Um, I feel like this is someone that's kind of stuck in a situation or stuck in, you know, they're not making a decision and so things aren't happening. Some time could have passed here with the Seven of Pentacles. Maybe this is someone that has taken a long time to decide something here. Tell me about the Hangman Reverse. Why is the Hangman Reverse? Why is the Hangman Reverse? Queen of Cups Reverse. They've hurt someone or they're heartbroken. Two of Pentacles, Ace of Swords. Okay, so there's a choice that needs to be made here. Um, and this choice, I feel, could lead to um, maybe the choice is about open and honest communication, about starting something. Oh, wow, we have the Six of Cups and the Nine of Cups here when I cut the deck. So I feel like this is um, this conversation is very important, this communication. This new beginning based on truth and communication is very important to actually get something, I guess, moving here. But I don't think it's happened yet. Why is the Ace of Coin reverse? Once again, I have an Ace of Swords communication, but no commitment or commitment is delayed here. Tell me about the Ace of Coin reverse. What's going on here? Ace of Coins reverse can also be a um, symbol for something that you've lost. Oh, there's the Two of Swords again. There's been a, a, a loss, um, financial difficulty. Page of Wands again. I feel like this, this decision is about opening up, communicating. Tell me about the Ace of Coin Reverse. Why is the Ace of Coin Reverse? Page of Coin Reverse, again. High Priestess at the bottom of the deck. So there could be something here that you just don't know, you're not aware of. Um, it could be that someone's not communicating, keeping this to themselves, their true uh, feelings or emotions. I feel like they want to talk, but there's a decision surrounding that conversation, like, you know, should I talk? Should I not talk to Sagittarius? Or, you know, if I do talk to them, how much can I really say? Tell me about temperance. Why is temperance here? Seven of Swords reverse once again. You could have already caught someone in a lie as well, or caught someone doing something that they shouldn't have been doing. Um, and now it's like they're trying to do damage control. The world reverse. Lack of closure, um, a chapter not closing, delays in, in an ending of a cycle. Whoa, that's way too many. So I mean, oh. Oh, great. Tell me more about temperance. Knight of Cups. Yeah, and then the, the Ace of Wands at the bottom. I feel like this person wants to express how they feel to you, wants to like have a new beginning here. Uh, maybe apologize for what they've done. 
Uh, but be careful because I feel like some of you are dealing with someone who when they come to talk to you, they might not be completely honest. Others of you, they know that they can't lie to you any longer. Queen of coin and eight of coin reverse. So again, I feel like ooh, a tower reverse at the bottom. Maybe a tower happened in your life or their life. Um, I feel like this person, when it comes time to like actually invest or commit, uh, um, <clears throat> they're either prevented from doing so, or they're an, unable to really follow through. So I have the eight of coin twice, reverse. What is this person secretly thinking or feeling about you? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? What are they secretly thinking or feeling about Sagittarius? My heart belongs to you. Oh, we got two. I'm having doubts and I'm not giving up. What's this? I'm heartbroken, expect a message. Okay. So I feel like this is someone who, I feel like they're having doubts because they don't know how you're gonna take their message. Um, I'm not giving up. I feel like you may have cut this person off or uh, stopped talking to them or were kind of like gave them the cold shoulder possibly. Um, it could also be that this person is not giving up even though um, a cycle wants to close here or a tower has already fallen. But I mean, I feel like they are attracted to you. They want you. They desire you. They desire this connection. So I feel like a message could be coming in. Um, let's see what's what's happening next in the near future spirit. What's happening next here in the near future? What's happening next in the near future spirit between Sagittarius and this other person? Three of Cups reverse. Okay. Six of Swords reverse. I feel like this is someone that wants to return to you. Or perhaps they're unable or delayed um, in leaving a situation. Death reverse. This person doesn't, you know, they don't want things to end, I feel. They're resisting this ending that I feel you have probably started. Death card, Scorpio energy. Five of swords at the bottom of the deck here. So I feel like there's conflict and um, it's almost like they know they've done wrong, but they still don't want things to end completely or they don't want things to change. Um, King of Wands reverse. I feel like this is someone that, you know, maybe they're feeling a little bit desperate uh, and it might cause them to, you know, they're so focused on not giving up that it might cause them to jump into something without thinking, you know? Um, thank you so much for watching. Hit the like button and subscribe if you enjoy these readings and want to see more. Leave me a comment if this resonated for you. I'd love to hear from you. And I'll see you all in another video very soon. Take care.